in the Sena versus Sena battle. And after the Legislative Assembly, Eknath Shinde, Maharashtra Chief Minister, has now moved to assert authority over the Shiv Sena party in the Legislative Council. A Chief Minister Eknath Shinde's letter to the Deputy Speaker Neelam Gore to appoint Shiv Sena's Chief Whip Leader in the Legislative Council. The letter says that the Shiv Sena Legislature Party meeting has decided to elect Biplab Gopi Kishan Bajoria as the Chief Whip of the Shiv Sena and the Legislative Council. Remember the uh, election commission had given uh, both the party name and symbol uh, to Eknath Shinde and uh, he claims he now has the com complete control over the Shiv Sena. However, this has been challenged in the Supreme Court uh, by Uddhav Thakre. Earlier we spoke to Sohit for more. Eknath Shinde has control over the MLAs sitting in the Legislative Assembly as well as the MP sitting in the Lok Sabha. But if we talk about Rajya Sabha or uh, the Legislative Council where the MLAs or the MPs are nominated, Maximum of them are still with Uddhav Thakre. And that's why this move becomes very important that Ekna Chinde now moves to assert authority over the Shusana party in the Legislative Council as well. And now he has written a letter uh, to the Deputy Speaker Nilam Gore to appoint Shusana's Chief Whip in the Legislative Council. Now what does this mean? This means that in the future if a whip is issued, now it will uh, be, uh, everyone will have to follow whoever is in Shusana. Uh, as of now, as we know that uh, an assurance has been given by uh, in the Supreme Court by Iknat Shinde faction that they won't be taking any action until and unless the hearing is completed. But supposedly, suppose like tomorrow if the election commission says or uh, the Supreme Court says that, okay, now you can uh, perform your duties as a party and you can issue whip or take action. So if a whip is issued, uh, viewers should know that in the Legislative Council, even Uddhav Thakre said, so even he will have to follow the whip of uh, issued by Ekna Shinde or else uh, what would happen is that action could be taken against him as well. Now this is a big if because we know that there are that is hearing continuously going on in the Supreme Court and based on the assurances given only now the whip cannot be issued but we don't know that in the future if the whip will be issued or the 16 MLAs will be disqualified but in the meanwhile Ekna Shinde is trying to gain control everywhere and ensuring that whoever is a part of Shasana be it in the Legislative Council, Legislative Assembly, Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha, they follow what Shinde says or his MLA says or else they should be ready to face action. So a big move by Ekla Shinde and this all is going on amidst the uh, ongoing hearing in the Supreme Court uh, over That's two things. Right. Number one is that the election commission has uh, given the name and symbol to Ekla Shinde and Uddhav Thakra has challenged that in the Supreme Court. And on the other hand, another uh, hearing is going on over the disqualification of 16 MLAs which includes Eknath Shinde. But despite this, what we can say is that Eknath Shinde is trying to gain control everywhere the party is present to show that now he is the chief leader of Shiv Sena and that's why leaders or MLAs or MPs of Shiv Sena will need to follow what is said by him.